sustainable innovation to me represents a transformative approach that combines creativity with a deep commitment to sustainability. It's about uh, rethinking our processes and products to ensure they contribute positively to our planet and its inhabitants. This kind of innovation goes beyond mere compliance with environmental standards or corporate social responsibility. Instead, it involves actively seeking out opportunities to affect positive change through new methods, products, or business models that are environmentally sound, socially just, and economically viable. It, it means designing solutions that optimize resource use, minimize environmental impact, and create value for all stakeholders involved from leveraging re renewable energy and sustainable materials in manufacturing to developing products that can be fully recycled or repurposed at the end of the useful life. Sustainable innovation touches every aspect of a business. It's about creating cycles of continuous improvement that enhance efficiency and foster a healthy relationship between businesses, communities, and the natural world. Sustainable innovation is becoming increasingly important, not just as a strategic advantage, but as a fundamental necessity. In today's world, where the effects of climate change are becoming more tangible, with 53% of projects worldwide being impacted by extreme weather events made worse by climate change, the need for sustainable practices is more urgent than ever. Populations are growing and urbanizing, putting pressures on our natural resources and infrastructures. At the same time, Awareness and concern for the environment is driving consumer preferences towards more sustainable products and services. Simply put, I think organizations need to integrate sustainability into their core strategies and operations. This involves embracing sustainable project management practices, investing in sustainable technologies and solutions, fostering a culture of sustainability among employees at all levels. Training and capacity building are, are essential uh, to empower employees with the knowledge and tools needed for this kind of a shift. I think uh, companies should engage in active collaboration with their entire value chains to drive collective action towards common sustainability goals. I think the key barriers to implementing sustainable innovation are many. Um, they include lack of awareness about long-term benefits, resistance to change within organizational cultures, and perceived initial costs associated with transitioning to sustainable practices. I think to overcome these challenges, it's essential to focus on education and transparent communication. Organizations need to highlight the economic environmental and social benefits of sustainable innovation through training sessions, uh, workshops, regular updates about the progress they're being made and the impacts of their initiatives. But I'll also say that leadership commitment is crucial in overcoming these barriers. Leaders must act as champions for sustainability, setting a clear vision and integrating sustainable practices into the core business strategy. I think by doing so, they can foster an, an organizational culture that embraces rather than resists change. You know, green project management or, even, or sustainable project management, you know, look interchangeable. Um, it's not meant to replace project management or to fundamentally change how we view projects. It's to embed sustainability throughout the project life cycle and to ensure that we're looking at the impact of our work as well as what the outcomes are to be. It is, and we just did a major research here at GPM uh, this past three months, and we, the findings were just released this past week. And we found that among 10,000 respondents, um, we had over 60% that are in either the, the developing or beginning stages of embedding sustainability and project management. So that's most organizations. So we're very pleased to see that and hopefully we've had a small part in that. I have to be, uh, you know, I am. Uh, I'm also 
uh, professor. And when I look at my students, you know, I, I see hope in, in their eyes and I see, I see passion in their eyes. And I'm hoping that what we produce today, they can take and run with because we sure do need it. We're, we're focusing right now on regeneration. Um, you know, sustainability means to literally sustain or to maintain. And what we have right now, we don't want to maintain. So we have to go forward and regenerate what's been lost and, and sustain the future state. So we have to think about sustainability in a more broader term than just as it's been taught for the past 30 years. We have to actually go back and regenerate our, regenerate our world. That means businesses and, and ecosystems. I think it's all in context, right? I mean, we have, you know, the, the, the nine key bioregions in the world that are struggling to, to, to maintain. We have to actually go back and regenerate those. Um, we have ecosystems, you know, on the small scale in your neighborhoods and your communities. And I think when you say ecosystem, some people think about their, their own products and services ecosystems. So we have to make sure that we put the emphasis on the natural world and that we're not part of nature. We are nature and we have to work in harmony together.